Hello, my name is Artur Malinowski, I'm working for Malkan and today I would like to show you how you can easily manage permissions how can, you can do it dynamically based on some uh, events like adding reports or updating and we will set the permission based on the value in the in the list row or in the or in the in the parameter in order to, to take advantage of this demo uh, you need to know how how to build actions in MWS and also how to use parameters and what are the permissions levels in Sharp and so on. I encourage you to, to watch these videos um, and take a few minutes to, to watch them first. Okay, let's go to the demo. So here I have a simple list, my list, and I've added just one column who, who is persons, and I created one record which was created just without MWS without Mark and Webpo for SharePoint and John Smith was appointed as, as a person in this row. As if, if you go to manage permissions, you can see that the permissions for this are just inherited from parent. So basically, every reader can read every row. What we want to achieve now is that only the person in a who can, uh, is able to read it and also there is an HR department that uh, is able to, to modify everything. So what I will do now is I will first activate Mac and Workflow, open Manage Actions, Manage Permissions, and I will return to my list. And on the parameters I need to define who is the uh, HR department. So let me add a new parameter which I call HR, which is Persons Groups. And let's choose the group blank site. I've created a group blank site HR group which currently consists of only one user. Let's go back. So, um, and let's just create the actions we will use. Okay, those we will need. Let's see. Prepare some space for my action. What kind of action we want to uh, use? Let's go to API. I want to set permissions on the list row. So let's go to see the permissions on the list row. Uh, there are set permissions, add set permissions, clear and set permissions inherit. So first of all, I would like to clear the permissions currently, which are currently used. Let's go to my like that, but uh, the action type should be post edit. So whenever the whenever the uh, the record is added, we want to clear the permissions. But it is also a method of list row, so we need to give it about an object current list row. So let's do it on the current list row. But this and also, if I go back to that, we will also want to set some permissions that only need clear. So let's go here. Let's put it here and also on the current list row we will do the same. Set permissions at, it takes two arguments, permission level name. So we want uh, read permissions to give it to the user who is in the who column who column which was which is here can be taken with the function value who okay and additionally we also want assign to add a new, new permission for uh, for a child let it be contribute or whatever other permission you have and this is a function to take parameter is param. We called it param hr. So anybody is assigned here will be given read permissions. And anybody who is assigned in the parameters here, which is currently in the blank site hr group, which eventually is just one user currently, will be assigned contribute permissions. Okay. Let's create a new 
John Smith. John Smith with NWS. John Smith. Control K. Fine. Okay. So let's see the permissions of the John Smith. Well, it's it's exactly how we expected. So the John Smith uh, currently has read permissions and user HR has contribute permissions. What if we want to whatever is changed here? We would like to also have the notion of this uh, of these uh, permissions here. So nothing easier. Let's do the same. But for also for post updated, I'm using uh, post edit and post updating since on adding and updating on adding there is no record yet created, so I cannot set permissions. That is why I'm using the event post. So if I do that now, if I change the permission, if I edit this row only now with MWS. Now both records should have exactly as we expected. So if we even change that maybe uh, to maybe not by JK, which could be just uh, Jan Kowalski. So we have one for John Smith and one for John Kowalski. Okay, let's check if it is working. If I change my login uh, from administrator to one of the persons, let's go to, for example, Jan Kowalski. Jan Kowalski can see only those that have, that he is permitted to. It's the same for John Smith, but if I log on as a and also, Jan, oh sorry, Jan Kowalski also cannot edit or delete it because he has only read permissions. But if I go to to one of the people from HR, which is user HR, user HR can as contributor. So basically, what we wanted to achieve was done with this uh, with this with, with this piece of code and time. So today I, I wanted to show you just how it is easy with Mac and Workflow for SharePoint to dynamically manage permissions. So only those people that are permitted, for example, for you can set it to, the, to some peop, uh, employees and the managers only, and you can uh, do it easily with, with this with this product. Thank you for your time.